everyone, I'm gonna show you this intermediate spin pole dancey choreography for today. You can do this on static as well. It's no problem. And just in case you didn't know, I have a Patreon. I'm gonna leave the link down below. Go check it out. On my Patreon, I offer a lot of choreographies and combos like this. And get a warm up and let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is step into this reverse spin, this backward spin. I'm gonna be here. So the pole is on my right side. This is my right arm, my inside arm. So I'm gonna take a step with that inside foot forward. So the right foot and then a step forward with the left. And I do a, a crisscross, I like to. So the left foot is stepping last. Then I'm gonna lift up my stilettos. So my weight is forward, right? The tops of my shoe box is here because I'm gonna pivot. So I'm gonna pivot toward the pole. So super strong legs, lift the heels. Left hand is gonna come down, just like a pirouette, kind of. Thumb facing down, palm is behind the pole. Right behind, not in front, behind. Now this hand, just like the pirouette, is gonna turn also. I'm gonna release this hand, right? I have my index finger and my thumb, and I'm gonna turn it out, the palm out. Pinky is gonna go up toward the ceiling, and this hand is behind the pole as well, remember. I'm gonna link down below the basic pirouette. I have another tutorial on that if you want to go over it, if you haven't done the pirouette. This isn't a pirouette, but it begins just like a pirouette. All right, so I'm here, release, turn, pinky toward the ceiling, so the top of my hand is in the pole. Then I'm going to push, push, pivot, push, head underneath my top arm. Once I'm here, I'm going to grab left hand right hand and I start to bring my chest over to the side right so very important that little part left right turn and I push once I'm here I reach for that pole with my top arm so how do I do that I got to bring my chest over to the pole and in front if I'm out here, it's like very uncomfortable. I'm going into my flexibility. Maybe I don't have the flexibility. Don't stay here. This is not the position. You wanna turn, look at my chest. I lean over, kind of like I wanna bend over to the left side. Naturally, the right leg lifts up. That's what I want because I'm gonna swing it. Anyways, it happens naturally. If I want to bend over, that leg has to come up, right? So now I have a good uh, hold on the pole, like a good grip. You see the pole is in my back. My bottom hand is here, index finger pointing down. I can push, push myself up. And the top hand is here, index finger facing upward also. And I can pull with that top arm. And the pole is in my back again. Now I'm gonna swing the outside right leg and I'm gonna bend it. And I'm gonna keep the left straight. Push and pull, push and pull. Step down with that right foot. The leg that's already bent. Before you step, you have to bend the leg, right? Even when you're walking. Well, that's the leg we stepped down on, the bent one. Makes sense, right? And again, I'm, I'm really, a um, little detail, I'm turning my toes outward, so the hips are turning out, right? You see my left leg is turning out, my right leg is turning out. They're not forward, they're turning out. So I'm opening up the hip, I'm marching, it's making the shape look a lot nicer. Now I'm gonna step down with that right foot. 
Right swing, step down, right foot. Now I have a little momentum, you see? My body wanted to keep going, so I need to use that momentum to my advantage. So I step down with that right foot, press all my weight into it, and push up on that right foot, and I turn, I start to turn toward the pole, and I swing the left leg. Then I release the left arm, and I reach for the pole. I'm gonna go into my dip float, okay, now. So this is a dip, but I'm floating it. So it's a little more challenging. I'm gonna go over the little details now. So I'm here, right, I step down, swing. I'm gonna grab the pole with that left arm. The right arm is, is always on the pole. My weight is on that right foot. It's slightly bent, the leg. And I swing that left leg out and around, just like a dip. Bend the knees, keep the knees soft. Push the hips back, okay? You always want to think like you want to sit back. You know, if you're too up here, it's going to be really hard and you're not gonna have the right position. The legs don't know where to go, it's kind of confusing. So you wanna like lean out. So I'm like holding on with my arms, sitting the bum back as much as I can. What do I do with my legs? They hover, they hover above the floor and they're all the way on the other side of the pole. So both feet also here are turning out. So I'm doing an external hip rotation out, if you notice. My feet are not straight forward. Right here, they're straight forward. I'm turning them out. In, out, in, out. So I'm opening up my hips, but it also makes my leg lines look a little longer, a little nicer, always when you turn out. If you notice, whenever I I dance, I do anything. I'm always turning my hip out because it just looks better always. So now when I go for my dip, you can kind of play with the legs and do what you want, but I'm gonna show you what I do. So I go for my dip, I swing the left, I straighten the right and I bend the left. You see, my right is straight and my left is bent and I step down with the left leg at the end. That's why I wanna bend it, because I'm gonna step down again. The leg you're gonna step down at the end, you want it to be bent before you step it down. Remember, lean out, hips out, right hold, squeeze. Now I'm gonna go for a little pirouette variation. I really like it with one arm. Looks nice. So I do my dip. Let's meet together there. I step down with that left foot and I pick up the right and I swing it around. And I like to crisscross, squeeze the thighs together. Okay. So I'm really engaging this glute. That's why the leg is bent for my balance because I'm gonna be doing this pirouette with one arm. So I need to help my balance. And that's also why I squeeze the thighs together, right? It's gonna help me with my turn, okay? Try to lift up the stilettos, so get on your tippy toes, okay? So I'm here, my right arm is still high, my left arm is loose. You can bring it down for the regular pirouette, but we're just gonna bring it through here and just use one arm. So I open my chest. I'm gonna take that left arm through and I'm gonna start to release the right arm. Same thing what I did in the beginning with the hand flip here. I release and I turn that pinky up toward the ceiling so the top of my hand is pressing into the pole behind the pole, right? 
And I like to bring that arm through like this, like keep it close to me, kind of like I'm pushing something, right? And I turn, I flip, turn, 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 grab the pole as soon as I can with that top arm. Okay, keep the chest open, stick the bum out. That's going to help you with any pirouette, any turn. If you open the chest. I kind of think about making my body like a zigzag. It's kind of like broken. This is going to help you with your pivot. If you're too straight, if your back is straight, you're tucked in, you're nice and tall, it's a little more, you have to balance, right? Because you're taller and straighter. So open that chest, stick the bum out, right? So let's do our pirouette. Left arm through, flip, and grab. Let's go over what we have so far. So I'm going to do from the beginning, right? I'll start from here. Right arm on the pole, step right, left, left hand down, pivot toward the pole, chest through, flip the top hand, reach for the pole, swing the right leg, bend it, step down right foot, push off of it and swing the left, turn toward the pole, grab the pole with that left arm, swing the left leg, dip, float, remember straighten the right leg, bend the left, step on the left leg, swing the right behind, open the chest, stick the bum out, get that left arm through, flip the top right hand for your pirouette, reach for the pole as soon as you can, face forward. Now I'm going to turn, I'm going to grab the pole and I'm going to turn into this like backwards spin. Now let me get in my position. So I do the pirouette, grab. Now I'm gonna grab and reach for the pole. So my legs get caught. I just gotta bend the right leg and slide it through to get them untangled. Right, so I reach for the pole, left arm, slide that right leg through. And I'm going to get the pull in my left armpit, bend the right knee. So I straighten the left and I bend the right. I want to bend the knee in the direction that I'm spinning. So I'm spinning to the right. So I bend the right because that's where I'm going, right? Then I'm going to stop here behind the pole, right? And now I'm going to straighten both legs. So that right leg is going to straighten and the pole is in my left armpit. Let's do it from the pirouette. So this is my left leg, right arm, left arm through, grab, grab with the left arm, right leg through, bend the right knee, stop, straighten, both legs. Now I'm here, hips in front, pole is in my left side, in my left bicep here. Again, my hips are turning out. They're not forward, look, this is if my feet are facing forward, I want to turn them out. Right, not forward, outward. It's going to look nicer. Now I'm grabbing onto the pole and I'm going to look back at my audience, my camera, wherever, do a little back bend. What I like to do is I like to release this free hand, this right hand, and I bring it by my face. It's a little harder. You can keep both hands on the pole, but if you're comfortable, look back, release this hand, and I just bring it 
around here. Now I'm going to bend the knees and slide down. Now before I get to the floor, I take that right free hand down and I press into the floor. And I look up, chin into my chest to protect my head. And I'm still pushing into my heels, into my tippy toes. Then, once I get my back on the floor, I sit the bum down and release the heels. Right? Try to do it slow and controlled. Okay, you don't want to get stuck. You don't want to be here and then you're like, you can't get out of it. So remember, back, I'm going to do it from this side so you can see it. So I'm here, back, hand, back, arch, sit the booty down. My feet are pretty wide and then I can release here. Okay, now I'm just going to turn out of it, turn away from the pole. So I'm going to look, so this is my left side, my clear side is my right side. So I'm going to look to the right and I'm going to bring that right arm high. And I'm going to turn right knee toward the ground, keep arching, left hand comes over. Go over that right armpit and I bring the right arm out and I start to transfer the weight onto my chest. You see? And I slid that left leg over. Okay, always arching. Right? And I slide up onto the knees and the chest. Okay? I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here for one second. The moment you turn, you're on the knees. So you can stick the bum up. Okay, always. I really don't like this relaxed position, even for a moment. I just don't think it's, it's good. <laughs> So I'm ready. I'm here. I'm sticking my bum out and I turn onto that right knee. You see? I'm going to show you from this angle so you can see also. Down, hand, bum, feet, right arm, turn to the right. Reach with the left hand, look forward, reach that right arm out, get the weight on your chest, stick your bum up onto your right knee, left, slide the right back, and you're going to push back. Look forward if you can, a, li a little bit, and then push back. Slide your chest onto the floor. I like to drop my head down. Right before I come up, I push up and I hair whip back. All right, you want to get the chest to the floor because it looks better. If you, if you can't, just keep practicing, but the goal is to get the chest to the floor because look what happens. So I'm here, let's say I can't get my chest down. Ooh. Doesn't look slinky. Doesn't look nice. Looks like you're doing a push-up, right? I see people all the time doing their bad kitties like that. You want to get the chest down and slide back. Right? When I come up, I like to do a hair whip to make it look nice. Because maybe this is a little, you know, then it's like, oh... I'm just coming up. That looks nice too. But I like to add the hair whip. 
Now let's do it from the pirouette where we left off, right? Left leg in front, right leg behind. Squeeze the thighs together, right hand on the pole. Left arm through, flip the right hand. Grab the pole, take that right leg through. Grab the pole with the left arm. Get into the left armpit. Turn, right knee bends. Get behind the pole, straighten the legs, toes facing out, right? So open the hips. Now I'm gonna face behind me. I like to do it fast. Release that right arm, slide down. I like to look to the side, head up. Before I get too low, take that arm down, press into the floor. And then I bring my chin into my chest, place my back onto the floor. And then I sit my bum down, arching, release the heels. Take that right arm out, turn to the right, left over, transfer the weight onto my chest and my knees. Look forward, slide head down, hair whip. So when you go back, you can look at the side, but if your audience is in front of you, like my camera's in front of me, it's better just to try to look forward. Because if you're a performer, or you work, or you're a dancer, competitor, it's all about the audience engagement. That's like the most important thing. If you're looking away always, doesn't matter what you're doing. I don't think the audience is not gonna be interested. You can do really simple things and have a lot of uh, audience engagement, eye contact, and it, it's amazing, amazing experience. And then you can do really crazy stuff and it's just like, well, yeah, it's good, but the audience might not be into it. That's super important. Also, when you arch back, right? When you arch back, look at your audience, wherever they are. Down, release. Then I turn, look at my audience. As much as you can. So let's do the whole thing together. Right, I'm gonna go a little fast because this is like a little bit of momentum. I'm doing this on spin pole. You can do this on static. You're just, your spins are not gonna last as long. On spin pole, you can hold it as, as long as you want, you know? So I'm gonna start back here. Right leg is bent, right arm, step right foot left foot, left arm down, turn, flip the right top hand, swing the right leg, bend the knee, straighten the left, step down right, push, grab the pole with the left arm, swing the left leg, straighten the right, bend the left knee, and then step down on the left leg, swing the right behind, squeeze the thighs together, left arm through, right arm flips, reach for the pole, grab the pole with the left arm. My weight goes on my right leg, slide the left leg through, bend the right leg, straighten the left, and here behind the pole, straighten both legs, look, arch, release the right hand, come down, bring it to the floor, look up, back onto the floor, feet together, bum to the floor, arch. Now I'm gonna turn, right arm up, turn to the right, chest, knees, look up, head down, hair whip, okay? You can do a hair whip 
back, but I always go to the side. I always do circular motions. So I'm going to the left. Ready, go down, lift, back. That's how I do my hair whips because just going straight back doesn't feel good for my neck. Okay, guys, try the other side. If you like this combo today, check out my Patreon. I'm going to have the link down below. These are the kinds of um, choreography sequences that I put together for my Patreon members. Stuff that's like more in depth, longer choreographies, and we put it with a song. I'm going to have it linked down below. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up, write a comment down below, and subscribe. I post every week videos for you guys. And now cool down or continue with your training. And thank you so much for watching.